Good morning, everybody. This is Don Blomdahl Hall of Fame Veteran Sports Cards and Collectibles coming to you live from Arlington, Washington. Just jumping on for my five-minute preview before we start at 10.30 sharp. Just to see who jumps in, who wants to chat with me, who wants to say hello. As soon as I get acknowledgement of one person being in the screen, stream, I'll go ahead and get started with my stream. Dream preview. Five minutes before. I know everybody kind of, I can't, I pretty much with this new app and doing it on my phone and stuff, I don't get to do the preview. Looks like we got somebody. Funkin' Mess Collections. Good morning. This is Donald Blomdahl. And, uh, for my preview, I won't show you what I'm previewing at 1030 sharp. I will turn the camera around and you'll see what we're going to be working on today. So we oh we got a couple people in here. Joel and Becky Cards and Toys. How you guys doing there? Watched a couple of your recent videos and commented on them. Jesse Burnett. How you doing, Jesse? Nice to have you jump in here with us this morning. Um so yeah, this is my ten new new style maybe for my ten minute preview. Uh since I do have a couple people in here, I'm just gonna start out with my chant. Edgar, you're thinking, boy, this guy is weird. Edgar, it was Edgar Martinez weekend this last weekend. It was fun. Of course, you probably saw the videos I posted up for uh, when I was at the ball game. When we, me and my pastor went on the tour. So I did a short little video, a couple minutes, about three minutes long while we were on the field. I did get a chance to sit in both dugouts, the visitors dugout, the, the uh, Seattle Mariners dugout. I uh, still don't have those pictures. My pastor took some from when I was in the dugout. But that was cool. Funk and Mess Collections. I was first. Yeah, you were the first one in here this morning. That's for sure, Funk and Mess Collections. <laughs> so, uh, but yeah, that was just kind of cool and fun doing that. And then I did take uh, two short videos when the Tampa Bay Rays came up in the top of the first. And then when the Seattle Mariners came came up to bat in the bottom of the first. So that was three short videos live while I was at the game on Friday. So uh, now that I've did my Edgar chant, I'll turn my, my ball cap around. So it just shows a, a normal ball cap. As you can see, it's the Seattle Mariners, but this is my Edgar ball cap with his signature on the back. Just uh, throwing that in here. So in three minutes now, we'll I'll turn the camera around here. Sorry, let me adjust this just a little bit. I'm estimating so when I turn the camera around it'll be lined up properly like father like son good morning to you too appreciate it so we've got five people in the stream here already for the preview time so I guess this works good I've got it set up you should get as long as you ring that bell on my channel make don't forget to give me a thumbs up uh, if you're new if you're new which I don't think I see any around your boys around your boys is in here sweet Seattle hat <laughs> yep, I almost put on my Everett Aqua Sox jersey, but I might save that for tomorrow for my Oddball Wednesday. Um, I do got a package that came in from Chad Hopkins, but he told me, uh, I do have his phone number, so we kind of text back and forth, and he said, uh, yeah, with what I sent you in your package, you might want to do it. Just make that your Oddball Wednesday package, or uh, that's going to be my Oddball Wednesday uh, live stream tomorrow. So uh, we will have that for him tomorrow. Um, so we've got about one minute here, and then I'll turn the camera around, and we'll see what we're going to do. Pack Fresh Rookies. Oh, Pack Fresh Rookies. That's the name of the channel. I don't know for sure if I've got you subscribed, but I'll double check afterwards. I think I might be subscribed. I haven't been to any Aqua Sox games. I have been to Rainier, Rainier games. Yeah, I went to a couple of uh, games for the Rainiers quite a few years back. Uh, I have some uh, two aunts and an uncle that live down in the Tacoma area. So I know the Rainiers play down in Tacoma. But we've got probably less than a minute to go here, and then I'll turn the camera around. All right, so we got seven people on the stream already, and I haven't even gone into what we're going to go over yet. <laughs> but uh, as soon as it clicks over, now we got eight people in here. Cool. Um, in just a second, when I see my phone click over to 10.30 like it just did, I'm going to turn the camera around, and you're going to see what we're going to be working on today. Let me get this 
Boom, boom, boom. There we go. So we do have one pack. I got one pack. I went to my local Target yesterday and picked up and found this was all mixed in with all the top series two uh, packs. But somebody must have missed this one. They left one Allen and Ginter. Uh, this is a, a, a little bit thicker pack, not a normal size one, but uh, and not a real thick one. But it says it contains 14 cards with a special insert. Uh, packs with a special insert may contain 9 to 13 cards. And we do have a box of 2019 Topps Chrome. I broke down and had a little bit of credit with uh, a card that I used for the Seattle Mariners. Um, since I didn't spend it all on Friday. So I do have a few dollars to spend on some new product. And then of course I do have a, a package here I bought into a break for a... Uh, 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 Breaks and cards, cards and breaks. I'm trying to remember. Don. I just know him as Don. He's I call him the other Don on the channels. Us Don's got to stick together. I told him. And then this package over here is from Major League Baseball. I'll explain that when I get to that. But I'm pretty sure I know what's inside that one. And then I do have. You can't see it right here. I'll have to pan up on this one, because I do have a box here or a, a big envelope. That's why I, I it goes to the bottom behind these packages, and I'll have to pan up here. It's a pretty big, large envelope, so I'll give you a little intel on that one as we're getting into the stream here. Um, I sent letters out to all 30 Major League Baseball teams to their uh, uh, promotions or, or community relations type uh, office. I sent it attention to them and said, uh, I'm trying to look for... Uh, interesting displays that I can put up when I set up my my display um, for all the baseball stadiums and so far so it was on the uh, 2nd of August I sent out 30 letters to the ball clubs and wanted to kind of see and put them in order and I'll show them as I get them in so the first response was from the Texas Rangers the Texas Rangers down in Arlington Texas they sent my first package so that one is on display here and we'll be opening up that last or first i'm trying to decide which way i should do it but uh so we're gonna go ahead and without further ado let me pan back down here and get ready for our pack breaks we'll do our pack breaks first and just to be safe i'm gonna move this big envelope in the back here because i do not want it to fall down because it is pretty big and if i do move some of this stuff out of the way like i plan to um I'll be breaking, pulling these back up in a little bit. And just so you do know, this is a, for those that haven't seen it on the stream and stuff, I've got this kind of set up here. You can see my little Ichiro there, my 1984 World Series ball. I got a 2019 Seattle Mariners. And it does have signatures on the card. And a little MLB certification there. I think it's signed by the Seattle Mariners. Unfortunately, it's not a real signed ball. They're just a, an imprinted ball that they were selling. But for $9.95 at the team store, I couldn't resist get not getting it. And then I've got my Hall, Hall, Hall of Fame club members uh, and a little World Series for the New York uh, Yankees uh, back in the day in 1958 when they won the World Series. So without further delay, we are going to get in to break and open some packs. So I'll put this chrome here. We'll open up the uh, Allen and Ginter and see if we can find anything interesting out of this one. So without further ado, we're gonna get into our pack break first. All right. Doesn't look like there's any anything big in here. No thick cards, that's for sure. Uh, let me get that out of the way here, and we'll just go through these cards real quick. Looks like we got a Roberto Alomar here. Hall of Famer, Roberto Alomar. Nice looking card there. Um, the only reason I kind of did the Allen Ginters, I don't like Allen Ginters as much, but I've been watching some of them being opened up, and it don't look like they have as much of the the uh, entertainment type interest industry cards and of course as soon as i do that the second card here is butcher butcher ray butcher he's a stand-up comic actor and writer 
So there is a non-baseball card already. But then we've got uh, DJ LeMahieu with the New York Yankees. We've got a Topps mini card here of Dakota Hudson. Dakota Hudson. So they only put the last, and it is his rookie card for this year. Dakota Hudson mini card. Molina with the St. Louis Cardinals. Molina with the St. Louis Cardinals. And then what do we got here? We've got uh, Bonomo. Bonomo. Bonomo has been a heavy hitter on the professional poker scene since 2005. So it looks like he is a poker player. Okay. <laughs> here when I was going to think that they didn't put as many non-sports cards in. I don't know how poker can be considered sports. But <laughs> here's a rookie card for Astudio. A studio for the Minnesota Twins. Rogers Hornsby. Hall of Famer Rogers Hornsby for the Cardinals. Oops. My, that was pretty pretty neat little drop there. Uh, Vladimir Guerrero. This is Vlad... Vlad... Senior, I'm pretty sure. Vladimir Guerrero. All right. Um, Stan the Man Musial. Greatest ever to ever hold a bat and ball. Ginter Greats. All right. Oh, that's pretty pretty cool looking card there. I like that. Must be. And it's actually, that's pretty nice. That's a painting, I'm pretty sure. Of a, sorry, Bell X1. Captain Charles E. Chuck Yeager. Chuck Yeager flew that plane. All right. That is pretty sharp looking. Pretty sharp looking. Okay, set so that aside there. George Brett. George Brett with the Royals. George Brett car, card. Um, then we got Boston. Dowell Lugo with the Detroit Tigers. Dowell Lugo, rookie card. And then we've got Juan Soto with the Washington Nationals. Juan Soto with the Washington Nationals. That's the Allen and Ginter. Uh... Not too bad. Nothing earth shattering in there for $5.99 a pack. So that's why I only splurged and got one of those packs. Now let's go ahead and open up this Topps Chrome. See if we can uh I don't mind I don't mind getting some hits, some memorabilia or something like that, but I am hunting for in Topps products the uh 1984 blast to the past. 35 years ago, 1984 Topps Tops insert cards. So that's what I am going for when I do look for the new Tops products. I'm trying to PC those. So let's take these out of here. We do have a, an insert pack. So pretty much on these here, it says um, you get 32 cards in a box. Of course, there's, uh, let's see, what does it say again? Seven packs with four cards in each pack and then one bonus pack of four cards um and these are probably these most likely it says on the on the pack here bonus sepia refractor cards so we'll go ahead and set that off to the side here and do that one last so without further ado we're going to open up these seven packs of 2019 tops chrome yeah ethan Ethan Elvis covers and more had asked me if I was going to be getting some Topps Chrome and opening that. I didn't know for sure at the time. And then he kind of inspired me when uh, him and his mom opened up uh, a box. And I said, well, you know what? I'm going to go out to the Target and see if there are any left. And there were. Actually, there was probably about a dozen boxes of Topps Chrome in our, in our Target. But I do like these. They are shiny cards. On a shiny card, you can see my phone there and me in the background. But Blake... Uh, Trinan with the Oakland A's. Shohei Otani. Gold Cup card. Shohei Otani. Then we've got Raymond Laureano with the Oakland Athletics. Raymond Laureano. And David Peralta with the Arizona Diamondbacks. There we go. I'm looking at you right in the card. <laughs> All right. Nothing earth shattering in there. They got two rookie cards. 
one rookie card one rookie card and some regular cards pack number two pack number two Otani refractor all right so let me throw these in my my little trash receptacle there there we go we got a des uh ian desmond colorado rockies uh, Pete Alonzo, rookie card for the New York Mets. Pete Alonzo. There we go. There we go. One that's going into my PC for sure. You're right. Luis Arias, San Diego Padres, rookie card for my 1984 Tops 2019 collection. Set him aside up here. And then uh, Lucas... Giolito with the Chicago White Sox. Lucas Giolito. <laughs> yeah, I thought that was a specter uh, uh, above his arm, but that was just some some card dust. All right, pack number three. Pack number three. Card crew, yeah, card, card, card crew brother Ethan. He is really cool. I know he's getting ready to head back off to college. So uh, I sent him a package off just before he heads back. Here we go. D. Gordon, Speedy Flash. Speedy D. Gordon for the Seattle Mariners. All right. Seattle Mariners. All right. Then we've got next, we got Chris Shaw for the San Francisco Giants. Rookie card. Rookie card. Oh, there we go. Future Stars. Future Stars. I like that color on that one can kind of flash that on the screen and stuff you can see the different colors as it goes around here um dialing cozens or is it cozens dialing i know some of the a lot of these they if you read it wrong you're reading it backwards all right future star so that goes in with my rookie car break and luis arias with the san diego padres rookie card all right we're in the middle of the box right now back number four does make it a little bit more pricey when there's only four cards in a pack. But you know what? These are Chrome products. That's one thing I do like about the Chrome. So there we go. Harrison Bader, St. Louis Cardinals. Uh, Gold Cup card from the All-Star Game. Made it to the All-Star Game. All right. And then Hunter Dozier with the Kansas City Royals. Hunter Dozier. Here we go. Freshman Flash. Colby Allard, rookie card for the Atlanta Braves. Shout out to Kelly Cards, my dog, for an Atlanta Brave card. Okay, put that over my rookie card. Jacob DeGrom with the New York Mets. Jacob DeGrom with the New York Mets. I'm trying to remember, did I put another Gold Cup card in here? I'm trying to be careful. I think I did. Show, yeah, show you Tani, his Gold Cup card. Needs to go in the other other stack there. I put the Gold Cup cards, rookie cards, future stars, anything that's close to rookie related or first time type events. All right, so pack number five coming up next. Future stars are pretty. Yes. Need some brave hits. <laughs> Roby card. So we've got ten in the stream now. We're doing pretty good here. All right. Don't know if I'll make. Make my all-time high for number in the stream, 15. From what I recall, 15 is my all-time high for people in the stream at one time. Uh, Jake Lamb, Jake Lamb with the Arizona Diamondbacks. Here we go, Mitch Hanniger. We need him to get back on the, on the healthy list and get back to playing with us again. All right, Mitch. Shout out to you. Get better. Get better. Blake Snell with the Tampa Bay Rays. Shout out to MP and MC Fox. If you guys aren't familiar with MP and MC Fox, I absolutely like their channel very, very much. Matter of fact, so much when I found their channel, I went back and watched every single episode that they made. They're up in the 140s. Uh, they're episode 140, I want to say 142, maybe 143. But as soon as I discovered their channel, I went back and I, it was like binge binge watching your favorite uh, sitcom or TV show. I binge watched all their videos, commented on them. I think I've sent them three, two packages so far. There's a third on their way to them. 
They do things kind of uniquely. Him and his dad do uh, pack break wars. It's pretty exciting and stuff. So MP and MC Fox and every once in a while Mama Fox. And when their sister comes home from uh, college, she jumps in on the channel too. So Josh Hader with the Milwaukee Brewers. All right? Yeah. I do shout out different people. So when I get to know you a lot more and you get more involved with my channel, I will shout out your channel and have you drive people to your channel. So let's see what we got here. Sorry, took the cards off. I don't normally like to do that, but I, I got to get used to my new setup here. My new setup. My little sign's trying to roll over. Nick Markakis with the Atlanta Braves. Another shout out to Kelly Cards, my dog. All right, there we go. Another 1984 throwback card. Gargancarlo Stanton with the New York Yankees. Another one for my PC. All right, so we got two so far for the 84 throwbacks. Uh, Max Scherzer with the Washington Nationals. Max Scherzer with the Washington Nationals. And Jake Cave, rookie card for the Minnesota Twins. Shout out to MP and MC Fox again. All right, pack number seven. Pack number seven. Getting close to our our uh, blue pack. Or whoops, that was a bad rip. Let's try it on this end. There we go. <laughs> there we go. All right. Gotta get my fingers off the front of cards there, blown ball. All right, Gary Sanchez. Gary Sanchez with the New York Yankees. All right, Lorenzo Kane with the Milwaukee Brewers. Got a little bit dirty there. He must have did a slide. Must have slid into a bit. Oh, there we go. I like these. This is a nice one. Aramis Garcia rookie card for the San Francisco Giants. See if I can get that on on the light. You can see the, the refractor and the... The shiny, shininess, the shininess of that card. All right, that goes into my rookie card stack here. And, ooh, that's nice. A nice another nice refractor here. Uh, Michael Kopech, rookie card for the Chicago White Sox. You can see the little shine and the way they faded out the background. They just centered on him on the picture. All the fans and stuff in the background are all blurred out. So they can't say, oh, that's me. <laughs> it's all blurred out there. But another nice rookie card. All right, now we've got our uh, four bonus sepia cards. I've seen somebody that opened up a pack of cards and it had a sepia in it. So to get, uh, if these are all four sepia cards, that is pretty neat in this 1999. Yeah, these are nice sepia cards. Tops chrome. Sepia is pretty much this. You can see the color here. They do have a little bit of the chromeness factor in here with the background but it's pretty much like a not necessarily a black and white it's more like a brown and white it's back in the day when they did sepia colors it's just a lighter shade of black when you mix colors and make it a brownish color so that's why they call these sepia cards all right and they're and they're actually uh, listed as bonus sepia refractors so andrelton uh, Simmons, all right, J.D. Martinez with the Boston, he was with the Angels, J.D. Martinez with the Boston Red Sox, J.D. Martinez with the Boston Red Sox, all right, and then next we have Nomar Marzara with the Texas Rangers, Nomar Marza, Mar, 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 Mazara, and last but not least, we have Xander Bogarts. Xander Bogarts. Kind of neatness to those with the sepia-type coloring and stuff. Are neat. Um, they are regular cards, but they, they list on there when they're refractors on the back. You can see it here. See up, you got the 96 chrome, and then it says refractor on the bottom there. That's how you know for sure it is a refractor card in case you get them in a regular pack. So you got Google Chrome, you got the refractors, and then you got the variations that are available in these cards. But there we have it, 2019 Topps Chrome with the special insert pack that they put in the, the Target. I'm pretty sure they're like Target exclusive inserts. 
Dun, dun, dun. And then, uh, of course, you do got this here. I know other people like to show this. If you do want to send in for your uh, your free pack, okay, and your drawing that's available, so you can always go back and freeze frame that. Boom! That box is history now. So we'll set this up here for the Allen and Ginter. Put my my two eighty fours that I got, Stanton Garcia and Luis Arias. For those, add those to my 84 stack. All right. So without further ado, I'm going to set these on. No, I'll leave these here for now. I'll leave these here so you can kind of see them in the corner. And now we're going to go. I'm going to go with the easier one first and work my way up. So the easier one is this one right here. This is my uh, family mail call, family mail call. So again, this one here is from Major League Baseball in New York, New York. So I'll tell you a little story about this one. Uh, before I do open it and stuff, I did watch somebody on a different channel. Can't remember off the top of my head which one. And I thought, wow, that is so awesome. So I wrote to Major League Baseball in New York, New York, and that is basically the office where the commissioner of baseball is so pretty much since i haven't not got one this year that has uh the new commissioner of baseball's uh name on it on uh, on all the balls that are played this year all the new balls that are used in the stadiums and stuff so i wrote a nice little letter using my nice letterhead that i use for my channel and my my store um and asked if i could get a personally autographed baseball by the commissioner of baseball and so i just received this in the mail yesterday along with um one other package i'm going to bring out tomorrow um along with uh the the pack break or the oddball wednesday package that i have so without further ado i'm going to open this up here yeah i know that looked pretty easy kind of rip that pretty easy and I'm gonna reach in here and pull out the ball and pretty much here you can see an unused perfect Major League Baseball with the new commissioner Robert D. Manfred Jr. he is a junior so you say well or don't they all come that way? No, they don't. I'll show you a little bit of a... So there's your Major League Baseball emblem. Trying, I got the chat in the way here. <laughs> um, I have never sent in for free stuff. Oh, you can do that all the time. I, there, you'd be surprised how many different inventive ways you can work on getting stuff. And then uh, here we go here. We got official Major League Baseball. And you can see where on each of these balls here, it has his uh, assimilation. Basically, it's printed on the ball, Robert D. Manfred Jr., the commissioner of Major League Baseball. And this is a Rawlings ball. Brand new. I'm going to be putting it in a case similar to this. i got to order some more of these cases to display my balls and stuff. But this is an official Major League Baseball with the new commissioner's signature right there. So Robert D. Man Manfred Jr., an actual signed baseball by him. So, yep, I just sent the letter off to Major League Baseball. Sorry, Ichiro, I'm going to move you over here near the Mariners so I can display Robert D. Manfred up here on the mantle. And then he will be on display until I get a case to put him in. All right. So next, we're going to open up this box from Don Zabicki. Breaks and stuff. Okay. So this one I am going to open. Hopefully. If I can score the package right here. And score this package here. Um, let's see. I got to. He tapes things up pretty good. And does ship to his product very nicely. Very nicely. I think he does a pretty good job of charging only $4. He must have got a good deal on these 300 count boxes because he uses these all the time. So I think I've got it scored all the way around as far as cutting open the, the good seal that he puts on his boxes. Ah, tape wouldn't come off my hand. Uh, okay, I 
thought I got that. I guess I didn't get the very end. Oh, no, I didn't score this side. Oh, there we go. Sorry. Didn't look like the... I didn't hit the camera with my... All right. So he, he packages really well, you can see. Puts bubble wrap in it. Make sure it's secure so it's not going to bounce around and damage the cards and stuff. So he does... Uh, package the cards and, and team bags uh, and he labels them when you're in a break with him and stuff with all the different cards he puts everything in there all the good stuff he knows what I like to collect oh there we go got a Ken Giffey Jr. and Sr. there alright got it couple of those here so pretty much he does he does breaks and then he throws in bonus cards so is awesome so again his shout out to his channel show you his address here if you do want to send him a package um don zabicki breaks and stuff down there in phoenix arizona pretty sure you don't mind me showing the address since it is his uh Pretty much, anytime there's a P.O. box, you know that's not giving away their home address. So that's why I do not mind that at all. Giving a shout out for a fellow channel. And of course, he's part of the Don crew as far as I'm concerned. When I have Dons. So of course he labels them when he puts them in the team bag and stuff. And he'll separate usually out. This is, pro this is probably my Mariners. We got Ken Griffey Jr. on top here. Um... Eddie Murray with the Dodgers. Um, who do we got there? Oh, that's a sweepstakes card. Sweepstakes card. Kansas City sweepstakes card. Uh, uh, Joey Bell with the Indians. Tino Martinez with the Mariners. Possible still has possibly still has a chance to get into the Hall of Fame. Uh, Roger Clemens with the Red Sox. Barry Larkin with the Red Sox. George Brett. Uh, uh, who's that? Is that Mattingly? I'm not for sure. Dino Martinez again. Uh, there's Don Mattingly. I don't know. Does that look like Mattingly? Might be an older Mattingly. Uh, Dragon Fan Tim. Donald, I like your setup. Yeah. Uh, love his phone camera phone camera <laughs> yeah i can switch it so you can see me and stuff i could always do that if i want to whenever i because i don't mind hiding i don't want you to just see my hands i'm not camera shy but yeah i can switch things around which is kind of nice i just got to get used to uh i got to figure out how to maybe get me a little bit more space but this kind of works for now for me and stuff uh, from what I can tell, I might have to rearrange things when I get into my video series that I'm working on and stuff. But, um, of course, the Yankees, Don Mattingly, uh, Nolan Ryan with the Rangers, Mark McGuire with the Athletics, Tino Martinez with the, with the Mariners. Here's another, uh, th uh, this is a 1990 rookie card for Tino Martinez. And there is another Tino Martinez rookie card. So two Tino Martinez rookie cards. Must have a, a pet or something. There was a hair in there, a little white hair. You got a cat or something there, Don? <laughs> or do you got some gray hairs there? Never mind. I'm not, I'm just messing with you. I don't even I don't even think did anybody see breaks and stuff in here? We're up to eleven on the stream. But I'm not going to repackage these. I'll just set these in a stack and go through them later in my uh, separation after I do my videos and stuff. So uh, I do like how he he, he kind of penny sleeves a lot of stuff, which is kind of nice. I do like that. Oh, might help if I hold these correctly. There we go. The Dodgers. Edwin Duke Snyder. All right. Bo Jackson. Ricky Henderson, Leroy Satch, Satchel Page, Satchel Page, Ted Williams. Uh, that's got to be a 
yeah, contest card. So Ted Williams just on the front there on that one. That would be cool if that was an actual Ted Williams card. <laughs> Dale Murphy, Tino Martinez, Nicky Mantle. That's about as close to I, as I get to Mickey Mantle cards. Oh, no, look at that. Look at that. Two Mickey Mantles, back-to-back -back contest cards. But that's okay. I'll take a Mickey Mantle any way I can get it. I could only dream of having a good Mickey Mantle card in my collection <laughs> for Hall of Famers. There we go, Mickey Mantle. Um, oh, no. is that that's Paul Ryan, isn't it? Is that Ryan? Uh, Barry Larkin, Barry Larkin, Leroy Satchel Page, Richie Ashburn with the Rangers. Uh, Robin Ventura, Robin Ventura. Oh, there we go. Yogi Berra. Yogi Berra. These are all... He must have gave me all the contest cards. <laughs> he says, no, nobody will appreciate him more than, than Donald Blondahl with his Hall of Fame collection. <laughs> John Schmoltz. John Schmoltz. Jose Conseco. Shout out to Kelly Cards, my dog. Willie Mays. That's as close as I'll get to a, a real Willie Mays card, too. <laughs> Ryan Sandberg. Ozzy Smith, uh, Whitey Ford, Ed Whitey Ford, and yeah, that, I think they usually say on the back, yeah, Jackie Robinson. So that's where I, I could make 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 for sure I put it in the right separation. So that's a Jackie Robinson card there. All those contest cards they did put on the back, they do list it there. I'll kind of show you real quick here. Right up in the top here, it says. Uh, did you know the card on the other side is a replica of a 1950 Bowman baseball card featuring Jackie Robinson? This one says, of course, featuring Whitey Ford, but it does have Whitey Ford on the front of the card there, which is kind of nice. So in case you don't know for sure, there we go. All right. So these were from a break that I bought into on his Breaks and Stuff channel. He is a breaker. Uh, one of these days, as soon as I get up to 555, I'll start doing breaks on my channel. As long as I can afford to get the, the, the boxes to do them. <laughs> I do have a few. I'm leaving them in storage until, uh, until I get, get, uh, my 555 subscribers. I do have a 82 Don Russ. I got an 81 Don Russ. A couple of 88 boxes. Uh, some of the 80s. So I do have some that I will be working on. This here is a Jay Buhner. Jay Buhner. Ted Williams. There we go, Ted Williams. Another Mickey Mantle. Look at the Mickey Mantles. Man, I'm getting Mickey Mantles cam coming out my ears. <laughs> How long have you been following the Everett Aqua Sox? Um, on and off throughout the years. A lot of times I'll try and go to a game when uh, when the Mariners are uh, go out on the IL and stuff. Or... Is, is that what they call it now? The injured injured list or IR, injured reserve. Um, when they get ready to come back for rehab, sometimes they'll go to the Tacoma Rainiers or they'll come to the Everett Aqua Sox. When I find out they're doing that, I'll try and go there and watch a game when they're doing a rehab uh, where they pitch a couple innings or or pitch in, a, in the, the minor leagues. But, um, yeah. So I, I, do, I don't follow them as closely maybe as I should since I live, I'm probably about a... 15 20 minute about a 15 minute drive from my house i can hop on the freeway get off the exit there and be right at the stadium so it's not hard to get to um gonna check into it a matter of fact uh if i can't afford to get season tickets for the mariners next year i might get a season ticket package for uh for that the everett aqua Sox and just go to all their games and just become a uh a secondary fan follow the 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 uh Seattle Mariners on, on TV and just go to the games for the Everett Aqua Sox. Yes, that's on. Yeah, you're about 15 minutes from the Rainiers. You should go more often. Yeah, they do They do get their players to go there and stuff. And then they, when they bring them up and put them on the Seattle Mariners, it's kind of nice there. Uh, so I've got some of these Hall of Famers here. Edwin Duke Snyder, George Brett, um, Eddie Murray, uh, Edwin Snyder. Let's see, they probably say who this one is. Gil Hodges, that's who that is. Gil Hodges with the 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 Brooklyn Dodgers. All right, Don Mattingly, Duke Snyder, 
Um, who is this? Oh, Doc Gooden. Doc Gooden. Carlton Fisk. Uh, Dave Parker. Ted Williams. Here we go. Another Mickey Mantle card. Steve Finley. Another Mickey Mantle. Come in. I've got Mickey Mantles coming out the years now. Should send some of these to Truth Seekers. <laughs> no, he, he'd say, that's just a contest card. It's not worth anything. <laughs> um... David Stewart, is it David? Dave Stewart, yep, David Stewart. He signs it David, but on the back of the card, he's got him as Dave. Kirk Gibson. Um, whoops. Andre Dawson. Andre da Dawson. There we go. Edgar Martinez. Edgar Martinez card. That's not his rookie card. I know that much. What year is this one? Da, da, da. 1989. Nope. And then uh, Daryl Strawberry, Richie Ashburn, and Roger Clemens. Roger Clemens. And these smaller ones here must be the, the uh, bigger hits here. Where are we at here for, for time? Da 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 da. Oh, 41 minutes. Sorry, I was just looking to see what time it was there on the on the stream. So, um, who do we got here now? We got uh, Ozzy Smith. Ozzy Smith. He's got these separated. I have to double check these. Oh, there we go. There's a star rookie, uh, Brian Jordan. Another Ozzy Smith card. Uh, Dimitri Young, 92 prospect. So two more rookies for sure and prospects. And Ray Langford. Ray Langford. Mm -hmm. All right. So I'll set those aside for now in a separate section. Oh, here we go. Here we go. He let me know I had some break credits, I think. Yeah. But I just used my break credits on another break he just did uh, yesterday, or brought into a break he's going to do, and some giveaways that he did yesterday for buying some packs. So I just used up my break credits. But there we go. We got a Frank Thomas rookie card. I think I have two, two Frank Thomases. One, uh, not the error cards. Uh, Truth just showed the Frank Thomas uh, error card where the, his name's not on the front of the card. Uh, but I, I, matter of fact, it was pretty neat. I was looking through some of my cards and found uh, I did have two of those. I did have two of those. I was sorting cards last night and I had uh, gotten another rookie card for uh, for Frank Thomas here. And then uh, he puts on the back here reminding you that you have some $5 credits in his break. When you when you do, he has giveaways and stuff that he does that. But that is a nice Hall of Famer rookie card there. That's my third Frank Thomas rookie card I have. So now I have two different Frank Thomas rookie cards. This here, I'll, sh I'll show that in a minute here. And so this is another rookie card for A-Rod. This is an Alex Rodriguez rookie card. I don't mind the way he does it because he puts it in a top loader and then puts the little post-it on the back there. But this is an Alex Rodriguez. And then he's got he definitely clearly labels everything. So here we go. Score 95 Alex Rodriguez rookie card. These are gonna jump up as soon as uh Alex Rodriguez makes it in to the Hall of Fame. I can't remember. I think I've got one or two other Alex Rodriguez. I think one of them is a rookie card, and one of them is a uh, pr prospect, or or when he played in the in in the minor leagues. All right, and this here is just he thought this would be nice, and I do have some of these. This is Ken Griffey Jr. and his dad, Ken Griffey Sr. A nice little uh, father son. It is labeled as a Ken Griffey Jr. card. And then it does have his dad on there. So that is a cool, nice card for my Ken Griffey Jr., which I do have a bunch of. But that is a nice, crisp, clean card. Uh, it has a slight blemish up in here, but not really notable. I have to look at my other ones. It might have the same spot. But that is a nice card, too. So thank you there, Don, for, for these cards here. Appreciate that. So, of course, again, uh, the Frank Thomas Hall of Famer rookie card, the Alex Rodriguez future Hall of Famer rookie card, 
and the Ken Griffey Jr. card. So those are the cards from breaks and stuff, the uh, break buy-in I did, and some bonus cards that I won during the break and after the break. So that is that was a nice little box to kind of go through and highlight. I will set those here. And now for the grand finale for today's video. The grand finale for this video. Set this 300 count box aside. I will repurpose it and use it for something else. Probably for packing some products away that I'm shipping off to somebody. But now I won't I won't pan well. Uh, I'll see. Maybe I'll pan up. But this is a big envelope. This is a very big envelope. Um, here. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to switch the camera behind me so I don't mess everything up there. And kind of hold this up behind me here. You can see the size of my head. There we go. This is a big envelope. A big envelope. <laughs> but, uh... We'll see what's in it. We'll see what's in it, and we'll go from there. I'm gonna just, uh, how can I do this? I can't get it all on camera, but I will, let's see. Here, let me see, can I get it? My word, I can't even get the label in here. Can I? Can I get the label? Uh, there we go. Can you see the Texas Rangers label there on the return address? It's not clear though. It's not clear. Uh, Randy Fry on the Aqua Sox. Yeah, I think you used to follow the Aqua Sox, or did you used to be out here in the Seattle way before? There, Dragon Tim. Oops, oops. There we go. Maybe this. No, I gotta really scroll down here. There we go. Maybe you can see the the address now. But this is from the Texas Rangers Baseball Club in Arlington, Texas. Now I gotta readjust my camera and turn it back around again towards me. I know. I just got to get it right here, lined up. All right. I'm gonna try and see. Let's see. I'm gonna... All right. I'm gonna open this up and then I'll. I'm gonna slide the box, the package over this way. Now that I've got the envelope opened, and oh, there's a box inside here. Well, why didn't they just put this in something big, smaller? cost them $16.10. They could have sent it in a flat rate box for it, for less than that. They sent the priority mail, but they just put it in, an em in a big, huge envelope. Oh, my word. <sighs> that is cool. I got to talk to somebody in their media department and tell them they could have sent it to me a lot cheaper. They sent it through the mail, but they could have put it in a, media in a small flat rate box and shipped it a lot cheaper than they spent. They spent $16 to send it to me. But what's this say here? This says uh, 1994 to 2014. Oh, okay, so in 2014, it was the Rangers Ballpark in Arlington's 20th anniversary. So it looks like they sent me a ballpark replica. A ballpark replica? Huh, looks like it was uh, maybe on display and they decided to send it to me, no. Probably just been banged around. It probably got banged around in the post office. Uh, let's see. I'll set that there. Let me see. Oh, I hate styrofoam. It gets all over everything when you open things. Ah. Uh. Oh, there we go. All right. We got that out of the way. Oh, why'd you open up? I don't want you. Go to sleep. Sorry. Go back to sleep. I must have bumped my my iMac. Okay, let me see if I can lift this out without ruining anything. All right, I'm going to tip this out, guys, and see what we got here. All right. Looks like it's cool. This is a little replica of the stadium in Arlington. Hey, that's a pretty cool item to send me. I'm sure it was probably a giveaway when they had the 20th anniversary. This is pretty heavy, too. Pretty heavy. It's not like it's a piece of plastic or anything. All right, there we go. Oh, get that. I don't, why did I put that in there? But there we go. There we go. So this shows... Uh, da, da, da. Oh, is True Seekers in here? 
He did jump in. Tim, any word from the post office? Ah. Stesan one. I, I got a letter from the U.S. Department of Justice last Friday for mail issues, Truth. I have to call the number on the receipt and they can see when the first... Oh, when, when the first, yeah, they'll, they'll be able to know when, when maybe it was discovered as open or, or the contents were lost in shipment on that, for that, yeah. All you guys got to do is ask me. I know everything about the post office. That's cool, yeah. Hey, 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 many, hey Kelly Cards did jump in here. Hey there, Mud Dog. Pack Fresh Rookies. Yeah, it's a nice little 20th anniversary, and I guess it was 2000... Dun, dun, dun. What they say again? 2004? 2014. So, uh, five years ago. So now it's 25. So I got it for the 25th anniversary. But yeah, this is pretty cool. It's got the AT&T. Yeah, there you go. 1994 to 2014. Uh, Rangers Ballpark in Arlington. Uh, and of course, you can see it's... They don't spare no expense here. Made in China. They couldn't have this made in America for cheaper. Anywho, um, that's pretty cool. Oh, here, I should show it to you this way. 1994-2014, looks like AT&T Rangers Ballpark in Arlington. Give you from the from the, the home plate advantage here. Show you the stadium there. Uh-huh. Yeah, one thing I have learned through the United States Postal Service. This is from 20 years of experience working in the post office. You definitely want to make sure a package is well secured, well taped. I know some people just like to slap a piece of tape on and think, okay, that's good to go. But yeah, like, like this package with this envelope that they sent from, uh, it was in a big envelope, but they co it cost them $16.10 to send this. Where they could have probably got it for, for probably, um, the, judging by the size of the box, if it didn't fit in a small flat rate box, it could have fit in a medium flat rate, and it would have been cheaper than sixteen dollars and ten cents to send it, and it would have been a much better box for packaging. They could have just added some bubbles in there, because uh, I'll show you again behind me. You can see how big this envelope is behind my head, and I'm holding it back away from my head. But yeah, this that this was this would not be the way if I worked in somebody's mailroom, I wouldn't have sent it this way. I mean, they had it taped up pretty good, taped up on the bottom. But you could I could see where it was starting. Even the tape here, even the, I didn't pull this apart, but even the tape here was not fully secure. When you tape something, I recommend you tape all the way around so it holds on. Um, but yeah. So that's what I heard Truth talking about that, that he received the package, but the contents were gone when he got his mail. Yeah, Dragon, uh, Tim English there, Dragon Fan Tim. Yeah, just, you have to make sure your packages are well secured. I learned that from working in the post office for all those years. Uh, matter of fact, uh, I'm sorely disappointed with what happened with my retirement and stuff, but I'll be going to my post office where I worked and returning something to my postmaster that she had me checking on to see if I could get a good price for it for her. It's an old old binder of uh, pro cards from I believe either the late 80s or 1990 somewhere around there but I'm going to just return that to her and say well you shouldn't have told me to uh, retire when I did I should have waited another five more months and I could have got my full retirement benefits but nothing I can do about that now. They said there's a chance that they might reconsider it, but we'll see what happens. I just called them the other day, and I'm waiting on one final letter to see if I get my uh, supplement package or not. If not, I may be getting a job with Amazon Flex and delivering Amazon packages uh, till till next summer, and I'll do it on my hours. I'll still do my morning streams and then go work for Amazon and uh, at lunchtime, from lunchtime to early evening or something, to get a. Uh, so I sent truth the package in it. Yeah. So that's a cool mini stadium. Yes, it is. Let me turn this camera back around here. So again, for our recap and stuff, this was a cool little stadium. Uh, I opened up a little box of Topps Chrome that I got at uh, 
target yesterday and uh, for those that jumped in the stream late and stuff i got this major league baseball signed brought by the commissioner of baseball himself uh robert d manfred jr so that was pretty cool i got that from him and i do not have uh any of the new baseballs with robert d manfred uh as the commissioner so that's cool i saw somebody did this on a, a different channel and stuff so i said cool i'll send off for it and sure enough yesterday i received this in the mail an official major league baseball uh with the new commissioner robert d manfred jr commissioner and an authentic signature by him so let me see here yeah i'll set that right there for now so that's my little recap my cards here from breaks and stuff um my top chrome my allen and ginter pack i opened so that's pretty much it for now unless you guys want to chit chat for a little bit I'm getting close to my hour mark, which is fine. I'd really like to get off in an hour. i got to go out and cut my grass before it gets too warm outside. But, uh... Dun, dun, dun. What's up, Aranya? Aranya boys were in here. Stesson, Kelly's cards. Uh, Truth's in here, as far as I know, or he was. Um, yep, he said hi. Uh, Fre uh, Pack Fresh Rookies was here. I got 15 people in the stream. I'm doing pretty good. I tied my record. Of 15. Unless somebody noticed earlier if there was more than 15 in the stream. But that is cool. Um, cool mini stadium from Kelly earlier there. Justin Stombaugh. That's freaking sweet. <laughs> I like that there. Um, Joel's Becky and Toys were on here. Uh, just making sure I shout out everybody that I noticed on here. Um, I know some people will come back, they'll watch the live stream later that can't make it during the daytime. I'm one of the few people that do the, the daytime. Um, Ellie Johnson was here. Um, I think there was somebody new maybe at the beginning. Yeah, Truth actually jumped in here a lot earlier than I thought. Dearman was in here. Dearman, you still in here, Dearman? Look at that, I'm up to 16 now. Up to 16. All-time record now, 16 people. Schmoltz. Oh, this is a pretty good time in about an hour and it looks like I get down to my 20% on my phone. But uh, let me go down to the bottom, see if uh, Aranya Boys, Mud Dog, got you now, bro. Okay. So, yeah, so this is Don Blomdahl, Hall of Fame Veterans, Sports Cards and Collectibles. Turn around for just a second here real quick. So you can see that hanging on, oh, hanging on my wall over there. That is a... Uh, a full sheet of uncut original 1984 baseball cards in case everybody's wondering what's that hanging on the wall back there so that's why this year this year let me get these set up before I turn the camera around real quick this year since they're celebrating 35 years of baseball with tops and doing a subset of throwback cards there's the two that I got today out of my Topps Chrome. The uh, Luis Arias with the San Diego Padres Topps Chrome. And Gargan Carlo Stanton with the Yankees Topps Chrome 84 throwback card. So I got a rookie card for a throwback card. And a Yankee to add to my 1984-2019 top set. Trying to collect the whole set. I got to look up the checklist so I can make sure I've got all the 2019 84 cards. 1984 cards. So without further ado, I'm going to wrap things up here and call it a day for now. And tomorrow I will be back for Oddball Wednesday. Oddball Wednesday for our Wednesday stream. And then we'll have our two video streams the History of Tops baseball cards on Thursday, our Hall of Fame video series on Friday. And then we will do a box break on Saturday. So until tomorrow morning, same bat time, same bat channel. This is Don Blomdahl, Hall of Fame veteran sports cards and collectibles. Coming to you live from Arlington, Washington. So you all have a great day. And it's been fun having this time on the channel with you. I'm right 
just about my one hour mark and then I'm going to cut this off. You guys have a great and wonderful day. See you around the channels tonight probably and tomorrow. Bye for now. Signing off.